Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. My name is Brennan Plays. We are here with this week's main event and SmackDown coming off the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. We had the big episode of Monday Night Raw as well last episode, so if you haven't checked that one out already, please go ahead and do so. Four weeks away from the Survivor Series pay-per-view, and we are about ready to start to lay down the foundation for what is to be Survivor Series this year. So to kick off this week's main event, we have... The team of Next Generation, Sami Zayn and Adrian Neville coming up against Gold and Stardust. Mark Henry will take on the Red Hot Daniel Bryan, who picked up a victory over Dolph Ziggler this week. Triple threat action between Emma, Cameron, and Tamina Snooker as we get ready to find out who's going to be the next contender to take on Paige. Uh, Emma certainly looked very good at Hell in a Cell. Bray Wyatt, he's going to have a match to try and bounce back against his loss at Dean Ambrose at Hell in a Cell. He's going to be versing Jack Swagger this week. Next Generation pick up the victory over Golden Stardust. Mark Henry versus Daniel Bryan. It is going to be Daniel Bryan gets the win. So a couple of victories in the tr on the trot now for Bryan. Looking very, very good. Emma picks up the triple threat victory as well. So that's a big victory for her. And Bray Wyatt manages to bounce back against Jack Swagger. So some big victories there on main event as we get ready to move on to this week's SmackDown. So... Plenty happening on SmackDown this week, and there's a lot to cover, so listen up. So we have the Usos coming up against the Miz and Miz now. The former tag team champions of the Wyatt family will take it on the primetime players because the Usos are our tag team champions now. The first of two number one contender matches for the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. We're going to have an eight-man tournament, and we are going to determine the number one contender for and the, the final is going to take place at Survivor Series, so stay tuned for that. More explanation coming up soon. Emma will be taking on Paige. Rusev versus Dean Ambrose, our Intercontinental Champion. They'll be going on one-on-one. -on -one. And our second number one contendership tournament matchup, CM Punk versus Batista. Plenty of history between these two. Plenty of history between Mysterio and the Big Show as well. So some heated rivalry battles. So this should be very, very good. The Uso is coming up against The Miz and Miz Dow. Our tag team champions do pick up the victory, so they are definitely on a roll right now. Uh, the White family, they managed to defeat, defeat the primetime players as well, so they bounce back pretty well. Emma versus Paige. It is Paige, so she's gone two from two this week. She defended her championship on Raw, now beating strong contender in Paige. Rusev versus Dean Ambrose, the champ, gets the victory. So before we go into our next matchup, we're going to go see what Edge has in store for us. As you know, tonight will be the beginning of the number one contenders world heavyweight championship tournament which eight of smackdown's best will compete in that match in hopes for a championship opportunity in the future and the reason this is happening is because the survivor series there will not be a world heavyweight championship match because this year smackdown will have the traditional three on three survivor series elimination tag team match and i'm here to officially announce what that match will be at Hell in a Cell, we saw Chris Jericho versus The Undertaker in a Hell in a Cell match. We saw Chris Jericho pick up the victory, but then again, we saw Sting take out The Undertaker post-match. And because of this, I have decided I want The Undertaker to compete at Survivor Series and captain one team to take on Team Chris Jericho, which will feature the captain of Chris Jericho and Sting. I am now throwing the challenge out to Sting to appear at Survivor Series to compete in his first ever WWE match and to compete on Team Jericho to face The Undertaker and a partner of his choosing because his second partner will be the Intercontinental Champion Dean Ambrose. So as it stands, The Undertaker and Dean Ambrose will team up to take on the World Heavyweight Champion Chris Jericho and the icon, the franchise of Sting. There will be one partner for each team to be added, and that will be up to the team captains to determine who will be their final man for their Survivor Series team. Well, you heard it right there, folks. It is going to be Team Undertaker versus Team Jericho in four weeks' time at the Survivor Series pay-per-view, and Sting He's going to compete for Team Jericho. That is huge. I don't know who's going to be the final two participants. I'm guessing we're going to find out very, very soon. But Undertaker, he's going to have the Intercontinental Champion Dean Ambrose helping him. So that's a pretty good uh, teammate to have there. And he's going to take on Chris Jericho and Sting. Now that's very, very big. And that's going to be very, very tough. 
And I tell you what, that's going to be a hell of a match. I don't know who's going to be the final two participants, but it's already shaping up to be a great match so far. So there will not be a World Heavyweight Championship matchup. So with that being said, the final of this tournament, the final of the number one contendership World Heavyweight Championship tournament will take place at the Survivor Series pay-per-view and the winner of that tournament will have an opportunity for the World Heavyweight Championship coming up at a future date, whether that be at tables, letters and chairs, whether that be on a SmackDown, I do not know, but it will be in a future time. So that will be a very, very important tournament and we are kicking the tournament off right now with the big show and Rey Mysterio, obviously Former members of Mystery Show, former tag team champions, and in recent months they just decided to break away, go their separate ways. Big Show didn't exactly want to break away, you know, without really turning on Mysterio, because Big Show, he really wanted nothing to do with Mysterio. He felt as though Mysterio was kind of holding back him back a little bit, and I guess he, perhaps he was, and Big Show went on to start to get a bit of a, a winning streak going as a singles competitor, and he got himself an opportunity to be in the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Didn't happen, but tonight he has an opportunity to do that again, but he has to go through Mysterio to do so, and he will have to go through two other men as well. So it, this uh, tournament will have eight men. I'll show you match graphic later on at, at what exactly will the tournament will look like, and you guys will have a better understanding of uh, where and what matches are going to take place. So for the next couple of weeks, it will be two matches. Every SmackDown match you'll see, every match on the SmackDown episode will be to do with the tournament. That's going to take place for the next um, two episodes. So... After that, we'll go back to playing some other matches as well. That's just because, you know, obviously the tournament matches are big matches and we want to showcase them all for you guys and uh, you want to make sure that we, we see them all. So we're going to be showing that and, and there has to be a couple of episodes, uh, a couple of matches each episode because that's exactly what's going to happen. So that's why that's going to happen. So if you're wondering why I'm not playing other matches in future episodes, that's why I just want to showcase the whole tournament, make sure you guys see it all. And it's Big Show Mysterio right now. Big Show going against the ropes. Mysterio needs to kind of pick the pace up a little bit here. I mean, this is a huge disadvantage for Mysterio. I mean, the, the biggest little man coming up against the world's largest athlete. It's not exactly uh, tipped in the favor of Mysterio right now. The odds are certainly stacked against him. I would not be betting on Mysterio, that is for sure. I think Mysterio would be, you know, 10 to 1 odds to win this one. But he kicks out a 1 there, stays alive so far. But I guess these two guys really just hate each other at the moment. I mean, Mysterio, he doesn't know what exactly happened with the Big Show. He doesn't know why his demeanor changed. He doesn't know why Big Show wanted to leave. Because Mysterio wanted to continue being a tag team. You'll notice for a while they tried to team up again. And it just didn't work out because Mysterio was begging Big Show to come back to be a tag team partner again. But Big Show simply did not want to do that. So Big Show split and he went his own way and doing what he's doing now. Mysterio, he had a couple of victories. You know, he looked okay. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Mysterio looking pretty good at the moment. Hits the big move. Carver on Big Show. Shoulders are down. Can he pull off the upset win? He can't as he kicks out one. So, so mate, Ray Mysterio really tried. You know, he tried to make things work. But you tell the Big Show just had other things on his mind. And it's fair enough because he was a tag team with Mysterio for quite some time. A long time, in fact. And they achieved everything they needed to do. You know, they did everything that they could possibly do. And they won the World Tag Team titles. And they dominated SmackDown for a long period of time. You know, and um, I guess they were just done as Big Show rolls a leg over. Slamming down Mysterio. Is that enough to put Ray away? Two, three, it is. Well, there you go. Just like that, Big Show advances to the next round of the tournament. And wait a minute. It's not over yet. Big Show... Waiting for Mysterio to get back to his feet. Big Show. Uh oh, wait a minute. Big Show gets the victory. He says, Cut the music. I'm going again. And uh oh, Mysterio. He's got him by the throat and a choke slam down. Wow. Big Show didn't get to hit his big move on Mysterio, but now he's going to make up for it for sure. Mysterio in a lot, a lot of trouble. Don't get up, Ray. Oh, a KO punch. And that could be the knockout. Of Mysterio for good. Is this the end of Rey Mysterio? Wow. What a statement by the Big Show. He just made. And he is ready for the rest of this tournament. He's going to face the winner of CM Punk and Batista next week. This is a big, big victory for the Big Show. What a win. Wow. There you go. So Big Show. Looking the goods at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, we get ready to move on to our next segment. Chris Jericho, what is up, my friend? How you doing? Long time no see, huh? Guess what? I spoke to Edge at Hell in a Cell, 
and we talked out a little bit of a deal. You know, we've had our differences in the past, Edge and I, but we've but we decided to put things in the past and move on. And he was talking to me, and he said to me that look, he believes the Charisma Code is one of the best selling commodities that the WWE has right now. You and I together on the same brand, you as the World Heavyweight Champion, me, and you as Tag Team Champion here on SmackDown, we can take over the world again. We can be the Charisma Code here on SmackDown. We can take over. And I know that you've got a big match coming up at Survivor Series that you just found out about. And I know that you're looking for a third man. And look, Chris, I know that I've said publicly that I'm pretty pissed off. That you left me on Monday Night Raw. You went to SmackDown without even asking me. You didn't even tell me you were cashing in. You didn't tell me anything. But look, Chris, I'm willing to put this all behind us. I want to be the Charisma Code again. I want to rule SmackDown with you. You and me. Let's take over SmackDown. I will be your third man. I will help you guys win. I will help you beat The Undertaker at Survivor Series. I will team up with Sting and yourself. And we will beat the dead man and that lunatic Dean Ambrose. So what do you say, Chris? Do you want to bring back the Charisma Code? You and me, again. The Code back on top, but this time where we belong, and that is on SmackDown. Look, Christian, it's great to see you again, my friend. You know, it really is. And you kind of shocked me. You kind of surprised me. I didn't expect you to see you here on SmackDown. I never thought I would see you here on SmackDown. So so uh, I, I do know about Survivor Series. I do know about the match that just got announced. And in fact, I have not been messing around. I have not decided to wait around to find out the third man and I didn't know you were coming over here and I've already gone ahead and decided I want the third man on my team to be none other than Bray Wyatt so I've already decided I've already picked Bray Wyatt and in fact I already got him to sign the contract so I, I gotta say I'm, a, I'm sorry Christian you just miss out this time my friend it's just not gonna happen and if I can be brutally honest with you and you've always said you wanted me to be honest with you I don't really want you to be my third man anyways. You know, Christian, I always thought you were good, but you were never great on your own. You always needed somebody to carry you. Look at Edge. He carried you for years, and he made you who you are today. Without Edge, you'd be nobody. Just like without me, you would have been doing absolutely nothing for this past year. I made you relevant on Raw, and now I ditched you when I had the first opportunity to do it and I came to SmackDown hoping to get the hell away from you and hoping that I didn't have to go back down to your level. So even if you asked me a week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago, six months ago, I would have been looking for somebody else because Christian, you are nothing but a has-been. You are not good enough to be on my team and hell, I never want a team with you again, Christian, because you and I we are done. I am the world heavyweight champion now. I am the king of the world once again for the first time in universe mode. You really think I'm going to jeopardize that by having somebody like you on my team? I need to beat The Undertaker. I did it at Hell in a Cell, but it's just the beginning. I'm not finished with him yet. At a Survivor Series, I'm going to finish him off without you. And in fact, I don't want you in my corner. I don't want you to support me. I don't want you anywhere near me, Christian. And I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. And you've always said you wanted the truth from me. I'm sorry, Christian, but this is just the way it has to be. So, no hard feelings, okay? Well, there you go. Christian is now here on SmackDown, and Jericho does not want him as the third man. Are you kidding me? What is going on? Jericho and Christian are now officially done and worst of all Christian didn't want anything to do with you know Didn't want to do anything about it. He just stood there and took it like what is wrong with Christian? He just took that barraging that Jericho laid out on him and he didn't even care He didn't say anything about it. He just shook his hand and walked away I don't know man, but I tell you what we are here with our last match of tonight's episode And this is gonna be a big one CM Punk taking on the Animal Batista, all former champions in this one. Batista and CM Punk, of course, go back to SummerSlam where these two teamed up. They formed a team to try and take down the White family. Two similar uh, uh, enemies, and they teamed up to try and take down that same enemy. They were unsuccessful, of course, but they formed an alliance, they formed a friendship. But in recent times, they've formed a competitive rivalry. Of course, Batista did defeat CM Punk a couple of weeks ago. So I suppose, and CM Punk's recent uh, run of 
form. You know, he's in a bit of a hot streak, looking pretty good. But Batista just ended it just like that. A big victory over CM Punk. And now this will be interesting to see if CM Punk can fight back, hit back, and come back from that loss. Or was it a one-time uh, fluke over Batista? Or is CM Punk, you know, on the way down? Or is Batista back on the way out? I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. You know, Batista, he had a recent opportunity for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Night of Champions in a triple threat matchup. He was unsuccessful. Of course, where Undertaker did defend his championship successfully because that was the night where Jer Jericho did cash in and take the, the Undertaker's championship away from him. But... Batista, we haven't seen much of him since. We haven't seen all too much of him. We haven't seen anything to really be impressed about. And that's a little bit concerning if you're a Batista fan. He's needed to strike back a little bit and come back. And this is a perfect opportunity for everybody here on SmackDown who's not exactly, I suppose, performing all that well to build a bit of a run, have a bit of form, and win a championship. You know, because if you win this tournament, you have to win three matches to, for first of all, you have to win three matches to win the tournament. And you have to beat the best of the best. And if once you win this tournament, you beat three of the SmackDown's best in a row, you're going to have so much momentum carrying on to your championship opportunity. It's going to be almost a guaranteed victory for you. It's going to be so difficult for you to lose that match. The only problem is, when will this match take place? That's the question we don't have an answer for because it will not be at Survivor Series. The final of this tournament will take place at Survivor Series. So whoever is in the final of this, of this tournament uh, will have their match at Survivor Series. And well, whether or not the championship opportunity will take place at TLC, I, I don't know. So we'll have to wait and find out what exactly the situation is there and what's going to go on there. What What's the deal when the championship opportunity will take place? But we do know this tournament is going to be fantastic and I'm very, very excited to bring this one to you guys as Batista has Punk for the belly to belly slam. Down goes CM Punk. So obviously a lot of history between these two and it's good to see these guys back in the ring together as a competitive rivalry rather than, you know, a personal issue. These guys, they, you know, they're on the same page. You know, they're in alliance. These guys... Yeah, but we don't really want much to do with each other anymore. You know, they've gone in separate ways, but they still have that mutual respect for one another. But you definitely know that this rivalry that these two guys have, you know that this is competitive rivalry and these guys want to outdo each other. And knowing that the World Championship is at possibly at the end of the road is uh, a big major factor for this one. So earlier tonight, we saw the big show basically, I guess, finish off Rey Mysterio. I mean, Rey Mysterio suffering a head knock, uh, the KO punch. We're getting reports that he could be out with a very serious concussion, and there's been some talks that Rey Mysterio could even be giving it up and not returning. So there's some big, big talks there. The Big Show may have finished Rey Mysterio's career, and now at the moment we'll go back to this matchup with Batista picking CM Punk back off the mat. Belly to belly slam as a nice little move there by Batista go for the cover as he tries to get the win tries to advance in this tournament the winner will face the big show of course coming up after this one and next week we'll have two more matches for you guys as well and then we'll have the semi-finals after that running knee by CM Punk falls it up the clothesline is that enough to put Batista away Two, no, Batista kicking out at two, but CM Punk looking good. Batista could be in some trouble. He is in big trouble now. Batista trying to get out of it. He can't. The GTS go to sleep, and that could be the end of Batista's tournament. It is CM Punk advances. Well, he gets the win back over a loss that he suffered a couple of weeks ago against Batista, and tonight CM Punk strikes back. And he wins when it matters. CM Punk continues his great form. And now he is in the semifinals of this tournament. He will face the big show in a couple of weeks' time. What a victory by CM Punk here tonight. And Batista clapping. And well, there you go. There's the respect. There's the mutual respect we talked about between these two. That's great to see. CM Punk and Batista showing respect. Great match here tonight. And that will do it for today's episode of WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. If you guys enjoyed it, please do leave a like on the video. As well as that, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you guys thought about today's episode. And I will see you all next episode of Raw, which, by the way, is going to be a big one. Don't miss it.